Hey y'all, so I'm too lazy to get up to make this video. Um, I was watching a call for uprisings video on this particular asteroid that is supposed to fly by on Super Bowl day, okay? And he makes a great point that, you know, basically they've been saying, they said that NASA says that they've been tracking this, looking at this particular asteroid for what? something like 14 years and then all of a sudden this asteroid is supposed to be passing by uh on super bowl day just a few hours before um kickoff and so very long story short i want to go look for a shorter video so that I could share it with Sherry for something that she's working on. Um, you guys, so I look for a shorter video and they show this animation of it. And part of it looks like when they show it coming through the air, part of it at an angle looks like a pill. And I just put this vision out yesterday, you guys. So I think the second part of that vision has to do with this asteroid. The first part, I believe, has to do with Nibiru in some way. Still haven't watched that particular video I mentioned. But this pill-shaped one that I mentioned looks like this asteroid. Now, so aside from me believing that this probably is at least one part of that fulfillment, if not the total fulfillment of that vision, <sighs> I just was talking about footballs and nuclear footballs. And over a week ago, I was talking about how these asteroids or meteorites are like missiles. So, for, so it's, it's just mighty strange that we have an asteroid fly by on the day of Super Bowl a few hours before um, kick off. This got uh, the potential, and speaking of potential, this is not just any asteroid. This is a what they label to be a potentially hazardous asteroid. You guys, so many people are. T I can't even talk about so many people. I can, but I can't. So many people are talking about Super Bowl. And I'm just going from what I have been talking about. I went down this yellow brick road sharing with you guys and pinning the connection together between how these meteorites are like missiles. This screams potential false flag all over it. They can just... Anything can happen. They can say, oh, you guys remember we, we put out a story uh, on January 28th that we have a potentially hazardous asteroid coming by. Or, uh, you guys, I, I just hope you get my drift. So, uh, apparently they've been watching this asteroid for 14 years and now all of a sudden it's coming by on Super Bowl uh, Sunday. I'm going to leave the video below of this short animation video. And if you want to listen to a call for up Uprisings thing for it, you can. I'll leave it below. Um, and just as a side note, when I was talking about all this stuff about Michigan and the, and the, uh, the missile strikes for... Japan and Hawaii when I want to fetch their videos to to share with you um, about some of the odd looking things that was going on this one particular person had uh, of one of the videos I shared the her channel she also had on her channel man-made meteorites I think Japan used them in some type of, like, Olympic show. So there is a such thing, actually. Um, 
man-made meteorites, and I believe they can be, you can choose choose with uh, whatever color you want to use, um, and they take they they cost about eight thousand dollars a pop. So I'm pretty sure I still have that video saved. I I sh I copied and pasted it in my notes because I eventually wanted to share it with you um, while I was going down this Golden Brick Road. <sighs> You guys, I'm just, as a watchman and as a at least a, an initial fulfillment of this particular vision, I got to put it out there. Who knows what kind of stunts they're trying to pull. Okay, you guys? Um, I'll leave all videos below. You can tell me what you think. But it's, it's a lot going on with this football. I just was talking about this football yesterday, you guys. And the nuclear football. And anyway. I'll talk with you later, okay, you guys? I just don't know what to think of it right now, but it's just not a coincidence.